Let's learn basic programming skills by learning about Flutter and Flame. Flame is an open source game engine that you can use to build simple games. Flame is open source and easy to use. This is my 21st Flame tutorial video. The other videos are on a playlist. Check out the playlist for some additional tips. I'm using Flutter 2.2.3 with Start 2.13. You can check it with flutter hyphen hyphen version. I'm just going to create it for Android, although this application will run on iOS as well. The parameter hyphen hyphen platforms is optional. You can leave this out. Pick a game or a name for your game and create it. Change into the directory of your new game. Open up the directory in your code editor. I'm using VS Code. Congratulations, we now have a mobile app with the latest version of Flutter. Go to pub.dev to install the newest version of Flame. I'm using the pre-release version of Flame 1.0. You must manually copy this newest version into your pubspic.yaml file. By using the 1.0 release candidate system to learn Flame, you'll be ready when the Flame goes to production. The commands have changed quite a bit, so make sure that you're using the pre-release version of Flame. Paste it into the dependencies portion of your pubspec.yaml file. Run flutter pub get unless your editor automatically does it for you. Congratulations, you've just installed the pre-release version of Flame. Under lib, go to main. We're going to delete almost everything in this file. Focus on the smallest possible portion, so we're going to delete everything here. So once you got rid of my app, Let's create a class called my game and have it extend the base game. So base game is a keyword from Flame. We're going to need to import game from Flame. On VS Code, it's control dot that will open up the menu. Delete my app. We're going to use a game widget to uh, set up the game. Assign a variable game. This is something that you defined to the new class my game that you just created and instantiated. Now within run it app, we have a keyword, this class game widget that we're going to pass the parameter game and the variable game that you just created. Now I'll start up a Android emulator. I'm using a Pixel 3 and let's test your game. Make sure you're testing it on an Android emulator, not on Windows native. There's some problems with the background music player on Windows desktop right now. So you want to use Android for now. You want to follow along and play the music later. Congratulations, you just made your first Flame game. Let's look at all you've accomplished. You've installed the newest version of Flutter. You've installed the release candidate version of Flame. You edited the code to set up a base game template. And you even installed a working game template in an Android emulator. It's not easy to install everything and get it running. You should celebrate. You made it through and you're absolutely ready to learn more about the fundamentals of using Flutter and Flame to build mobile apps. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get through these milestones together. Have a great day.